Let go and everything will be all right. Learn to let go in order to live a peaceful life. This is a common advice that all of us get. But how to actually let go and what does it actually mean to let go and is it actually good to let go of all things? This is what we will discuss today. In today's video, we will go deep to uncover how Vedanta can help us let go of the pain, of the suffering, of the anger, hatred, anxiety and all negativity. And at the end, we will also look at a powerful Vedantic meditation which will help us to let go and achieve true peace. The Advaita channel is about consciousness, conscious living and conscious creation. Here we explore Vedanta and various other spiritual teachings from India to understand the nature of reality and to consciously create our life. In the first part, let us talk about what exactly it is to let go. In Sanskrit, letting go or detachment is termed as Vairagya. And Vairagya is said to be a divine quality in human beings. Now, why is it divine? Why is this passion or detachment considered a virtue? Let us go a little deep here to understand this term Vairagya. Now, Vairagya doesn't mean you have to give up your car, you have to give up your possessions, you have to give up your money or anything like that. This is a very deep teaching which if we truly understand, we will achieve absolute peace and bliss. To understand this, we need to understand the nature of human awareness. Now, for most of us, the awareness that we have because of our mind is in such a way that it is always entangled. It is always involved with one activity or another. Whether it is internal objects or external objects, whether it is our thoughts, feelings, belief systems, etc. or whether it is an external thing, our awareness is always entangled. Now, this is the problem. We are never still and our mind is always active. This is why most of us in the modern world are not peaceful. We are not truly experiencing peace in our lives. It is only because we have not trained ourselves to still our awareness and detach our awareness from all objects. Now, I have an 11-month-old daughter and when I look at her and when I observe her behavior, I always compare it with myself. We think that the activities that we are involved in are somewhat superior and are more mature compared to children. But it is all the same. It is just our perspective which tells us that we are doing important things. When I look at her and when I look at babies, even their awareness is always entangled with a certain thing. Whether it is one toy or another, they always hold on to things. And immediately as soon as they let go of one thing, they hold on to something else. Human beings are like this, whether it is children or whether it is adults, we are in this way. We tend to hold on to things. Now, I think this is the root of the problem. We have not trained our awareness to be all by itself. And letting go is simply our ability to detach our awareness from all objects and to keep it within itself while experiencing true peace. With this, let's come to the second part where we will understand why to let go. Before we go ahead, let me start with a quote here. Let go and forgive, not because they deserve it, but because you deserve peace. So when you are forgiving something and when you are letting go of your anger and hatred, do it not because someone else deserves it, but because you deserve it. You deserve peace. So this is why we need to learn to let go. When our awareness is constantly engaged in activity and it is attached to various things and objects, we can never experience what it will be to be peaceful. 
Now, our true nature in Vedanta is explained as Satchit Ananda. And our true nature is said to be infinite bliss. The bliss and the enjoyment and fulfillment that we get from the activities of the world, whether it is buying a car, going on a trip, etc., is considered minuscule, is considered insignificant when we compare it with the infinite consciousness which is us in our essence. So it is very important for us to learn to let go of things and practice vairagya and be detached from the external world and from the internal thought patterns in order to experience peace in life. This is the reason why we need to learn to let go. Now in the third part of this video, let us understand how to let go. Here we will be looking at three tools or methods through which we can let go and be at peace. The first and the most simple tool is a method that I call stop and wake up. This is a very powerful method, but I had already covered this in our last video where we discussed the law of witness. So I will link that video in the description so that you can check this out and you can begin to practice this tool. With that, let us come to the second method. The second method through which we can learn detachment or vairagya is simply through intellectual realization, through the intellectual understanding of the nature of reality. This we can do by understanding the teachings of Advaita Vedanta. What Vedanta says is that in our essence, we are all one and the same. The more angry we are, the more attached we are, the more jealous we are, we are farther away from the truth. We are farther away from who we truly are. That is why we experience pain and suffering. The closer we come to our true nature, the more peace and the more joy we experience. So, keep this in your mind. Use this as a compass. If you are feeling bad, it means that you are far away from who you truly are. And if you are joyful and if you are happy, you are close to who you truly are. And if you are in infinite bliss, you are who you truly are. So, we can use this to look at our own life and to know where we are. And through the prism of Vedanta, we need to look at this world as a holistic unity. We need to see this world as a manifestation of that divine consciousness. Since all of us are one at the deepest level, then who will we be angry at? Who will we be jealous on? I know seeing this is easy, but it is difficult. And I have faced this difficulty in my own life when it comes to various circumstances. But letting go is absolutely necessary if we have to progress in our spiritual journey and if we want to experience peace and joy. With this, let us come to the third tool or method, which is the Vedantic meditation that I promised you. So, if you are driving or if you are engaged in any activity, you can simply save this video and watch it some other time. But if you are at your home where there is not much disturbance, you can simply close your eyes and begin this meditation. I hope this was valuable to you and you can save this link and practice this meditation whenever you feel like practicing this. And I know that most of you are thinking that it is difficult to let go and all this is theoretical. And it is actually difficult to do it, but it is necessary to do it. Even Sri Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Asamshayam Mahabaho Mano Durnigraham Chalam Abhyasena Tu Kaunteya Vaira Gena Cha Grahyate He says this in the 6th chapter 35th verse here krishna is saying it is undoubtedly very difficult to curb the restless mind but it is possible by suitable practice and by vairagya or detachment which is letting go so although it is difficult to tame the mind 
and let go of things it is essential for us to do so and krishna says by consistent practice and detachment we will be able to achieve this so this was all about letting go if you want to understand why we are the way we are and why do i think this way why are my belief systems like this you need to go deep in order to understand the concepts of karma vasana samskaras and vrittis when we understand this we understand the nature of personality and why we are the way we are by understanding this we can begin to be aware of our unconscious patterns and begin to come out of them so if you are interested in this you can check out this video next thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one subscribe to advaita to wake up shivoham